Hi and welcome back to Irons United for another transfer roundup of rumours, gossip, transfer news, anything you can quite possibly imagine that's related to West Ham on a daily basis. We're bringing you these videos. If we know what the updates are, we'll give you as much info related to the players, what they could potentially bring to the club or if they are on their way out and how what impact that would have on our side. Um, of course, I'm Anton and I'm going to be giving you the update particularly on two players that are with West Ham currently who are rumoured to be leaving the club and then I'll pass over to Stella and he'll give you a rendition of some of the players we're linked with today and potentially what they could bring to the club. So the first player we are linked with, um, not linked with sorry, that looks like he could be going out the door is a player that you know potentially you could say caused the problems that we had uh, back in January when he admitted he wanted to leave the club and that's Marco Arnautovic. Although he did sign a contract extension, um, which put to bed maybe the move to China, whether or not that was there is another debate initially. But um, the rumour is that, you know, with the new manager that, that Inter Milan have got, he's well known to the Premier League, Conte, Antonio Conte, he is interested in bringing Marco Arnautovic to Inter Milan is, and is apparently rumoured to stress uh, to his board and said that he wants to bring Arnautovic to the club and the fee apparently they're going to try and tempt West Ham with is £30 million. So do me a favour, get your comments in below and let us know what what, what do you think of, of, of that link in particular. £30 million for a player, has he been performing since and particularly since he announced he wanted to leave the club? Did he cause our season to to flip on its head and, and go the wrong way? Was he to blame? Was it his brother to blame? We, we, you know, we've all got our own opinions, but with regards to Marco Nautovic, he started to find a bit of form, come to the tail end of the season again. Um, did he win his, his, himself back in with the West Ham fans? That's one to be debated. But £30 million, particularly for a player who's 30. Got some stats here for you. You know, he's played. he's got 52 starts in the Premier League, seven sub-appearances. He scored 21 goals in the Premier League. Now, based upon his starts, that's one in every two and a half games. Um, obviously, we know he was brought in to play a different style than what he is doing now. And I suppose you could potentially say you can thank David Moyes for that. Um, but £30 million for a player at 30 years old, got to weigh up the options. I know times have changed, but let's rewind slightly to a different player from a different era in a different position, Rio Ferdinand. Um, we accepted £30 million when Leeds offered uh, to take him on and we replaced him with a lot of crap. And, you know, I've got to trust in Pellegrini and if he wants to add money to that kitty for the transfer fund, then so be it. That's something he's got to do. But um, I don't know, there's an element of me that is, is tempted to sell him at, at £30 million to Inter Milan. Um, but he, he has scored goals and he is an important player for West Ham squad so as long as Pellegrini's got a replacement in mind which I believe he probably does then yeah, why not let's just go with a whole new approach of our forward line, moving nicely on to Javier Hernandez Chicharito, who as you know if you've watched the channel you'll, you'll know that I'm a big fan favourite of Chicharito, but you know maybe there is time for him to go because the rumour is that Valencia are potentially interested in stiffing about him and maybe interested in, in, in taking him on board. The rumour is that they're potentially willing to pay up to £10 million for Chicharito. So um, the boy's 31 years old and he's not had the greatest of, of careers, albeit, I mean, I'll read you some stats. He's got 30 starts under West Ham over two seasons, 23 um, sub-appearances on top of that, and he scored 15 goals. So if I base his goals to games ratio based upon starts, he's got one and two goal, um one goal in two games. So, you know, decent decent stats from Chicharito, but, you know, between him and um, Arnautovic, there's a lot of money to be saved per week. There's potentially £40 million incoming. Add that to the £30 million budget we were given, plus the £10 million we've probably just made from the last two players. You're up to £70, £80 million. Pounds. Want to go out and go and get Maxi Gomez? Go and get him. Want to go and get your next player? Go and get him gives Pellegrini a really good chance to uh, clear his feet and, and really invest this money correctly into the players that he wants to be at the club that fits into his formations. Um, so, yes, this would be an interesting one. Uh, I mean, I don't really need to read you much more stats on Chicharito and Arnautovic, but the, the, the potential to have 
you know, moving into the new season with a whole new forward line, that does excite me. You can't even remotely deny that that wouldn't excite a West Ham fan because we're in the transfer market um, to bring in that, you know, the next player. When was the last time we had those players that connected up top and scored more than 20 plus goals a season? It's very hard to come by. I'm very aware of that. It's very, very hard to come by. But the excitement is there that potentially we could, under Pellegrini, with the right formation, the players in behind them, that they, we could maybe find that with some of the players he's looking for. So get your comments in below, let us know your thoughts. What I'm going to do is pass over to Stell and he'll give you some updates on the players potentially incoming. On you go, Stell. Uh, thanks, Anthony. Um, so the rumours continue unabated. Uh, today's list of midfielders that are linked uh, with West Ham are John Joe Shelby and Isaac Hayden, both of Newcastle. Let's talk a little bit about Shelby first. Uh, born in Romford, we all know he's a West Ham fan and we already know he plays central midfield for Newcastle. Um, his first team at youth level was Arsenal for a season before he moved to West Ham Academy between 2002 and 2004. Uh, he then joined Charlton at the age of 14 and in fact he made his senior debut for Charlton uh, in 2016 as uh, uh, in 2006 as the youngest uh, player at the age of uh, 16 years and 59 days. He played for Charlton for two seasons, appeared for them 42 times and scoring seven goals. That got him a move to Liverpool in 2010 where he played for them 47 times and scoring twice. He then had a brief loan spell at Blackpool, where in 10 games he scored six, six goals. Uh, this then led him to a, uh, getting a move to Swansea in 2013, where he played uh, for them, scoring 10 goals. I've got 769 games here, but I'm not sure if that's actually accurate, so I will check that. Um, in 2016, he moved to his current club, Newcastle, for a fee of £12 million. He's played for them 103 times and scoring seven goals. Um, so despite him being only 27 years of age, he's moved quite a few times in his senior career. John Joe Shelby uh, kind of divides opinion amongst West Ham fans. Some would love him to be part of the, the uh, West Ham and others really don't see him as uh, too much of a, an inspirational signing. Many are saying he would be an ideal replacement to the long-serving Mark Noble. There's clearly no doubting Shelby's technical ability. He's got a, a good eye for a pass, um, but for all his technical know-how, his temperament has let him down in the past, it, and, and it has been questionable. In the past five seasons alone, he's picked up 32 yellows and five reds. So would he be a good fit for West Ham? I can't decide on this one. Uh, we can certainly do with a box-to-box -box, box midfielder, we can certainly do with a good technical player and we can certainly do with a player of good passing ability. But I just don't know if it should actually be Shelby or some other player. Brings me on to Isaac Hayden. Um, he's 24 years of age, born in Chelmsford and ironically through last season he was instrumental in keeping Shelby out of the first team uh, with his fine performances. Um, there's a desire for Hayden to move back down south and he wanted to actually move last uh, last summer um, because of family reasons um, but uh, it, it's reported that uh, Benitez wouldn't let him go because uh, it was too late to get a replacement for him. Um, he was originally uh, fourth choice behind uh, Shelby, Diamant, uh, Diamant, uh, Diame and Key. Uh, but when these players got injured, he took his opportunity and became a mainstay uh, in, in the uh, Newcastle team. And he appeared for them 25, for 25 league games, scoring one goal, but assisted in four. Um, Hayden was part of the Arsenal Youth Academy, and although primarily a midfielder, he can actually play as a centre-back as well, and he was once described by Arsene Wenger, Arsene Wenger as a player who ha whose key assets are concentration, intelligence and strength. Um, kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Declan Rice, uh, similar uh, skills, similar qualities. Um, both he and Shelby have got a price tag of around 15 million. 
But if I'm going to stick my neck out, I would ra of the two, I would rather see Hayden arrive at West Ham than Shelby. All this, of course, is uh, speculation because the Gomez transfer saga has apparently uh, ended. But I don't know if we would have, if we've actually heard the last of the uh, Gomez transfer. Um, I'm certain the list of players, especially midfielders, is going to grow and grow and continue as the summer goes on, or until at least we sign someone. Uh, what seems evident is uh, Pellegrini isn't wasting any time in trying to shape his squad for the new season. And I have no doubt we will hear of one or two other players that we, no one has yet to mention. Anyway, back to Anton uh, and thanks for listening. Thanks very much, Stel. Great insight into some of the players potentially coming into West Ham. Remember to subscribe to our channel, hit the thumbs up, get your comments in below. Let us know your thoughts on what we both have said today on potential outgoings and incomings to West Ham. It's a really important time and integral part of West Ham's um, future that we get this transfer uh, summer correct and right and invest properly and, you know, give... Pellegrini what he's looking for in terms of finances if it means we need to sell players because there is a some deadwood there then so be it but it'll be an interesting one um, I'm Anton he's been stale come on you irons <laughs>